Hello everyone, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this beautiful staff ID card in Microsoft Word. Simply open a Microsoft Word document. In Page Setup Group, go to Margins and choose these narrow margins. Next, we'll go to Insert tab and choose a rectangle right from here. Simply drag it on your page like this. Now go to Shape Fill and choose No Fill. From the Shape Outline, increase the size of the border to around one and a half point. Next, click on the shape, shape format, and we are going to give it dimensions. It must be noted that ID card dimensions are 3.375 into 2.125. <laughs> but over here, I'm going to use 3x date of original dimensions so that we can create our card easily. Towards the end, I will show you how to reduce the dimension of this card without compromising on the quality of the card. Simply click on shape format and let's give a shape height of 10.125 and width 6.375. Press enter and there we go. So here we are. Let me zoom out a little bit. Hold the shape and bring it into the center like this. So this is the shape that we will work on to create our stuff ID card. Again, head over to the insert tab, click on shape and choose this rectangle again. Draw it like this over here. Left click and go to edit points. Simply click on this black square over here. Now over here in this white box, we have this a control. Simply hold it and drag it down like this. Similarly, click over here and right over here, we have another control. Grab it and drag it down like this until you are satisfied with the shape. And there we are. Let me reduce its size. Again, we'll go to insert tab and grab one more rectangle, drag it over here like this. Let me give it slightly different color. Again, left click, go to edit points, hold this control and drag it upward till you reach right over here at the intersection. Now choose this handle for the control and drag it towards the bottom to create a shape like this. Click over here as well, drag it and there we go. Now click over the shape, right click. And here you see this option, bring to front and send to back. So choose this send to back. Simply pull it up like this, drag towards right. And there we have it. Once more, we'll go to insert tab and bring one more rectangle over here. And grab it and draw it towards left. Reduce the size. Give it slightly different color. Now simply click over it. Again, right click, edit points, hold this control and drag it upward like this. And similarly, hold it right from here and drag it up as well now hold this control or handle and drag it down like this click over here this is another control drag it down to create a perfectly symmetric shape like this and there we are now let's remove the outline of all these shapes click over here control and click over here and similarly control and click now go to shape format shape outline no outline and that's it send this shape to back as well Click over this shape and adjust its size like this. Let me drag it a little bit upward. Similarly, you can click over it and drag it upward like this. And this needs a little bit more nuanced shape. Edit points. Let me drag it upward a little bit like this. Now it's good enough. Drag it up and there we have our shape. Next, we are going to apply a different color scheme to the shape. Click over here, go to shape format and in the shape fill, we don't have the color scheme of our choice. For that, go to insert, go to design and right over here in the color group, we are going to choose this particular option, red, orange. Click over it and there we have our shape. Next, we are going to place an image right over here. For that, go to insert tape, shapes and click on oval. Hold the shift key from your keyboard and draw a symmetric circle like this. Let me give it this white color next click over it go to shape format in the shape fill option click on picture and we are going to bring a picture to this oval so i'm going to bring this picture into oval and there you go you can simply increase the size of the image by holding the image from the corner and drag it like this place it in the center next click on this particular shape go to shape format and in the shape effects go to shadows and let me choose this offset bottom shadow click over it and similarly apply the same shadow effect to this bottom shape as well go to shape shape effects shadow and let's apply this offset bottom next click on this shape go to shape format again into shape effects click on glow and we are going to choose this particular option and you can see there is a circle of slightly orange color around this shape and let me change the color of this particular rectangle as well i'm going to give it this particular color 
and there we are now simply put in the text go to shape choose this option text box click over here and write the name let me write Samar Minallah Khan let me increase the font size right from here remove the shape fill click on this text box go to shape format in the shape fill no fill and similarly get rid of this outline no outline now click over it choose a font right from here I'm gonna give it this Eptos display increase the size place it in the center like this and simply click over it and make a copy of it by pressing ctrl and drag it down like this click over it reduce the size right from here and this time I'm gonna write marketing manager you can reduce the size right from here drag it up place it just beneath it click outside and there we go in exactly the similar manner we can fill in the details right over here so I have written these details over here so I'm going to copy paste over here like this this is so simple you can let me put in the name of this marketing manager over here which I'll convert into a barcode so first go to insert shapes let me write the name of this person you can copy it from the top as well let me write and let's give an id as well again remove the fill as well as the outline now click over it select it go to font and uh, click over here and i have downloaded these libre barcode 39 you can also download it and install it in your system as well if you don't know how to install these i have a separate video for it description you can watch that as well click over it select it and let me increase its size from here drag it towards right put it right over here and there we go you can write the company name right at the bottom or at the top i'm gonna put it over here so i'll simply go to shapes and choose one more text box let me put in tech time company increase the font size let me give it this eptos font and similarly get rid of its outline no shape fill and no outline and simply place it in the middle like this next we are going to insert the company address simply click over it and make a copy reduce the font size and i'm gonna write simply address now hold the shift key and you can copy paste the address of your company right over here i'm gonna put it right over here at last over here we have the signature of the person who is issuing this id card so again make a copy and let me put in signature and there you can see we have almost completed our card next you can go to picture format and bring in your company logo and place it right over here as well as you can put it in either of these two corners let me show you how it can be placed i'll go to shape and i'm gonna bring in some shape that will act as a company logo let me bring in this star place it over here click on shape and remove its outline let's give it a color like this darker color click over it go to shape effects and i'm gonna give it a reflection like this and there you go now you can see our card is almost ready if you have some extra detail you can put in right over here now if you want you can also apply a little bit color to this bottom part as well for that go to insert tape shapes and let me choose this rectangle right from here and try it like this remove shape outline and in the shape fill option let's use this orange accent for color option and simply drag it upward like this right click and send it to bake and there we go next we are going to save this id card as a pdf document so go to file and click on save as adobe pdf click yes desktop staff id card new i'm going to save it on desktop save and it's being converted into adobe format and there we have our card you can see and you can see how beautifully we have crafted this staff id card simply in microsoft word after converting it into a pdf document there are many online sites which can convert it into jpeg or png format so i'm not going into this detail i'm going to export it as an image i'm using adobe acrobat dc but as i've told you there are many online free services where you can put in this pdf and convert this document as a jpeg and there we have our card you can see let me click over it and this is our id card since we have increased its dimension while making this particular card now we will reduce the dimension so that it could fit in the size of an staff id card so how we would do that simply
open a Microsoft Word document. So first we will go to insert tab, click on shape and let's choose a shape like this. And next we are going to give it the dimensions of our staff card. So the dimensions are 3.375 and in the width the size is 2.125 press enter and this is our card size let me increase it let's remove the shape fill to no fill simply go to insert tape pictures this device and i'm going to bring in the card that we have just created on our desktop so here it is insert and so go over here into wrap text in front of the text now it can be easily moved we don't need this extra border simply double click over it and remove this white area around this card for that click on crop photo and simply bring it down over here from the bottom as well from the sides and from this side as well so this white area is gone click outside this is our card simply place it in the middle drag it like this and fix it into the shape like this and there we have our card so this is our card in order to print it simply go into the file click on print and right over here you can simply attach your printer dpi must be high around 300 put in a good glossy paper and there you go your card is ready so that was it for today's video i hope you have found this tutorial useful please give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching